What is your favorite insult that doesn't sound like an insult? Common customer service technique I use customers ranting and yelling on the phone and I don't say anything or try to interrupt. Then when they pause and ask if I'm still there, I say yes, I was just waiting for you to finish. Takes the wind out of their sails every time. Not necessarily an insult more than a jokey comment to a co-worker but I love it. Has anyone told you you're doing a good job today? Responds no. Think about that. If someone asks for a work reference, you can say, any employer would be lucky to get this person to work for them. I once made a moderately humorous remark among some friends and one person said to me, that's the funniest thing you've ever said. I think they meant well but it really was quite the burn. You help me work on my self-control. Edit to add my other favorite. You remind me of the importance of a good education. In the right context this is definitely not a compliment. There's a Yiddish one I hope someone names a child after you. It sounds nice until you realize that Jews don't name children after living relatives. See you later. Not if I see you first. This has become so common in language that people don't realize it's an insult. You're literally saying if I see you first, I'm going to avoid you. The one New Zealand minister said for people that left to Australia they rise IQ for both countries. I had a coworker come up to me when I was new and say, you know, I don't care what all the other guys say, you're a hell of a worker man. And he had like a mischievous smile and I was just like thank you man, appreciate that. I didn't realize till break that he was saying everyone talks shit about you and started cracking up that I just took it as a compliment. I do desire we may be better strangers. Or any of the other lines Orlando has in that scene, really. You constantly find ways to surprise me. Sounds very much like a compliment but can easily be an insult. When I was in the military, whenever there was someone who was particularly bad at their job I always tried to do a job quick rather than write so they could be done with it, we'd call them turbo. They always loved it. A friend of mine once dominated in a game and got I hope you have a warm pillow tonight. I kinda like this one. I once listened to a relative in law go off for quite a bit of time on some far right conspiracy mongering tangent about all the research she'd been doing, which no one asked for. After she finished and there was a pause I said, well, the important thing is that you're having a good time. Well, it seems like you've given this a lot of thought. To be deployed when the target is proffered an opinion that is totally without nuance. I'm sure if you play tennis you'll be good at it. Meaning that you want to compliment them but have to make something up, because there is just nothing there. When I was a hostess, I would get yelled at by customers because we had an hour wait and berated by them for not having room so as they would storm off in a huff, I would say. I hope you have a day as nice as you are. One I used for contestants on the Jeremy Kyle show Think British Springer. That one's got more tattoos than chi. I envy the people who haven't met you. There's a tree dedicated to replacing the air you take up. You should find it and apologize to it. Someone once hit me with it's cool how you don't care about what people think about you. And I was like thanks. Then wait a second. You remind me of the tragic hero in Sophocles' most famous tragedy. Best way to call somebody a motherfucker I've ever heard. I don't know half of you half as well as I should like. And I like less than half of you half as well as you deserve. I'm Texan, so the southern bless your heart is a classic. Since it can mean anything from you're a dumbass to fuck you. You must have an impressive ability to navigate life with such unique choices. You have a talent for turning everyday situations into extraordinary challenges. I received this comment from a boy in high school that I liked. I admire your ability to stand alone it was brutal. My sister and I still joke about it. Whatever is eating at you must be suffering horribly. Don't let your mind wander, it's far too small to be left on its own. I was going to give you a nasty look but I see you already have one. Upon entering a room with three or more males in the target, we'll call him Arthur, say hello gentlemen. Not in his direction Arthur, 